Okay, now that I have these clothes on, we are comparing this version of the Lululemon outfit to the aloe version of this outfit. It's very comfortable. This is what the back looks like. It is great. It's giving me Britney Spears. It's giving me Spice Girls. It's giving me like 2000s. Feels like I'm in a very thick, stretchy t-shirt. Hello and welcome to this video. This is aloe versus Lululemon. So we are going to go to the Aloe Yoga store, look around, try some things on, pick some stuff up, you know. We're gonna go to Lululemon, same thing, buy some stuff, and we are going to compare both of these wonderful, delicious brands. Fun fact, Lululemon was founded in Canada in 1998 in a yoga studio, yoga studio by day and designing studio by night by a man named something Wilson. Anyways, he was the founder up until 2013. All of the manufacturing for Lululemon comes from most of them third world countries, excluding Japan. They do have some factories in Japan. Japan's not a third world country, but everything else is like Sri Lanka, India, China, Indonesia, Vietnam, Philippines. That's where all of Lululemon's clothes are manufactured and they do use synthetic material. That is why they are so stretchy. Let's hear are some fun facts about aloe. Aloe was founded in 2007 in Beverly Hills, Los Angeles by a married couple named Danny and Marco De La Rosa. All of their manufacturing comes from China. Like 100% from the get-go, everything they make comes from China. Both companies outsource to third world countries and then like are designed here or designed in Canada. So neither company is really honestly, I would say better than the other in that way when it comes to like manufacturing and labor and stuff like that. I think the biggest thing that you're really paying for is like the difference in design and the difference in aesthetic. we are done doing some of our shopping. Let's try on some of this clothes, starting with Lululemon. This is one Lululemon outfit that I kind of already had. I like this outfit because, well, this is like camo and this is like camo. This is kind of my like bike riding outfit. Like if I'm gonna go on a bicycle ride or if I'm just like, Lululemon sweatpants are really, really comfortable and very durable. Like they, f I feel like I can get them significantly dirty and it will be great. They have awesome pockets. Like there's mesh in their pockets. It's cool. Okay. So there's an added feature to like pretty much all Lululemon products that I really, really like. And it's the fact that they add zippers all of their pockets, which makes it really nice if you put like your phone in there, it's not gonna fall out. So like I can put my phone in my pocket, zip it up, ride my bicycle, and like nothing is gonna fall out. This top that is also by Lululemon. Here are the shorts. I think this is more of the top and bottom like matching pair for these shorts. These are really cool because they come with like built-in underwear and they're actually really comfortable and don't cut off the circulation to my body. There's a pocket right here. It's a very small pocket, but like it fits the pocket needs, you know, maybe like a key or something. Anyways, here is the shorts outfit. Let's put on another Lululemon outfit. We have our Lululemon leggings and we have our Lululemon shirt. Now this shirt is a little bit special because it has a bra built into it, which I find kind of cool. And it's very like, it's comfortable. It's spacious. When it comes to Lululemon, I feel like they have a lot more color options. So this is our scuba hoodie, I think is what they call it. Another fun fact is a lot of the Lululemon clothes comes with like this thumb hole. Here's a better example of the mesh that most pockets in almost all Lululemon clothing has. I've had these leggings for four years and I've put them through everything. Camping, hiking, gym, you name it, I've done it. They have like a stain right here. I'm pretty sure that's a glue stain. Yeah, we got a hole and we have a hole somewhere in the butt, but it's less visible. A Fun fact about Lululemon, if you have holes, they will repair it for you for free. And if they can't repair it or tailor it for free, they also do tailoring for free, which is cool. They will just replace it for you. Also, I got this like last spring. I feel like it's a little faded. Their jackets do get a little faded. This has only been around for like a year. Okay, so let's try on the real comparison clothing here. <laughs> 
Okay, now that I have these clothes on, we are comparing this version of the Lululemon outfit to the aloe version of this outfit. It's very comfortable. This is what the back looks like. It has a pocket right here. It's flared. But for my short queens like myself, because I am very short, they kind of need to be hemmed because like I am stepping on the bottom of my pants and I have this problem with like all bell bottoms. I am constantly stepping on my pants. I, these are like very good for platforms. Also, my torso isn't very long. So I have this issue where it keeps like wanting to roll or fold up or do like weird stuff. Not necessarily made for your short queens, but still very cute, very comfortable. My observation when going through the Lululemon store was that aesthetic wise, it is very sporty. We are aiming at this extremely sporty, all-inclusive demographic. Yeah, so it's all-inclusive. They have sizes of every range, which is really awesome. There's a lot of color options. That is something very different between Lulu and Aloe is that Lulu has way more color options. And I think they're changing their colors and their seasonal colors like way more often as well. When you're wearing something from there, like it looks casual, but it's like casual sporty. You're gonna find some great basics in there. Like you just need some everyday comfortable that are soft enough to like lounge in, but also like get really active in them. That's your place to go. Like they have really good, just the basic necessity stuff. It feels very like more commercialized. Lulu, you can find a store, a Lululemon anywhere, pretty much in this country. Oh, the other thing is that you can beat their clothes up. You can really go to town, get a really hard workout in and it will wick your sweat away immediately. No swamp pass. Lulu's a really great athletic athletic brand. Oh, the other thing is you can pretty much grab any item in your size and it will hug your body, comfortably fit you correctly. Anything you grab, it will look good on you. So those are my thoughts for Lululemon. It's time to do the aloe comparison. Let's grab our aloe bag. We are going to do our aloe comparison to this outfit. It is great. It's giving me Britney Spears. It's giving me Spice Girls. It's giving me like 2000s. Feels like I'm in a very thick, stretchy t-shirt. Yeah, that's how it's feeling. It's not exactly the same feeling as like the Lululemon clothes, which feels more like sweat wicking. It's a little bit thinner, but it's still very soft. I feel like it's a little more padded. I love the fact that like, this is a little more fashion forward. This little ruching we have in the front, I didn't see any ruching at Lululemon. So like, that's just another example and the fact that it's like kind of a halter top. Some basics, this compared to the other outfit, this is considered boot cut and the other one was considered like a groovy flare. This is more of like a fashion athleisure statement, I feel. This is my little black outfit. This is from like their cozy collection, I think. This is really, really soft. It has some fun little details like stretchiness at the bottom and right here at the top. It has the little V cut in the butt. Something that's really cool about aloe is like, I feel like they make clothes that you can actually go out in. You can dress it up with like some jewelry or some with, you know, other pieces and heels. And like, you can actually go out in it. This like corset, meshy type thing that's going on. You can sweat a bunch and your clothing is totally fine. Like you can sweat and like be active and move and dance and you're okay. Like there's no problems. Your clothing isn't gonna move around. It's like still compression active wear. So that's something that like, I think Aloe has that Lulu doesn't. This one is a little more silky because it's lighter colored. I have stained the knees. This is what the back looks like. This is one of their older colors cause I found this on the sale section. So very nice. I feel like most of their leggings look bad if you wear underwear with them versus like Lulu. If you wear underwear with your Lulu leggings, you can't see the underwear. Like it's fine. I don't know what it is like stitching or maybe it's the way they do the hips, but like you can't see the underwear. I feel like with every single pair of aloe leggings I have worn, I can see my underwear. Let me show you the shorts. I like them because they, they like easily just scrunch up and it doesn't feel weird. Um, this feels like totally fine and normal. So here are some of my final thoughts on this shopping spree adventure for athletic clothes. Price wise, there's there's about just a $10 difference, that's it. They're pretty much the same cost, which makes sense because they're made the same way. So like Aloe ended up being a whopping $189 for that white outfit. So that was almost a $200 outfit. Lululemon came out to $198 for the green outfit. So that's about a $200 outfit again. Both of them are not super cheap, a little bit pricey, but I think their quality is like really, really good. I think their price for their quality actually does match and the experience you get shopping through the store does match. Aloe 
their store is like more aesthetically pleasing. It's very like clean lines, ambient lighting. They have less color options. So there's a little less to choose from, but they have like more variety and like lifestyle, I think. It's very like, very chic. I would say that Aloe's accessories are a little bit cuter than Lululemon's accessories because I've tried some of Lululemon's hair ties and they pull my hair. But Lululemon does have more variety and you can find it anywhere and you know you're gonna get a good quality product every single time. And it is something you can beat up. When I beat up my Aloe clothes, I feel like it gets like a little more roughened up than my Lulu clothes. Yeah, and then Lulu also has that policy where you can return and get things hemmed and get things fixed and it's all for free versus Aloe or like, I don't even think they have that program. So the other thing is that Aloe stores are not everywhere. I think like a handful, like three or four Aloe stores in all of California, Southern California, that being one, there's one in San Diego and then there's like a couple in LA. Well. That was my Lululemon versus Aloe Yoga comparison. Last verdict, I think I would choose Aloe over Lulu just because it's a little more fashion forward and I really like that. And the quality of the clothes is still good. Yeah, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was a little bit helpful for you. I like athletic clothes. I like being athletic. I like doing athletic things. So if you wanna see more videos, I don't know, watch more <laughs> videos. I don't know, subscribe or something. Okay, well, I, have, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.